Hi again, uh, good people. Welcome to another DIY CNC build video. As if you have watched my previous videos, uh, you know I have some problems with my CNC shield and these stepper motor drivers. They are too small to drive uh, my motors. I have the NEMA 23s. I have tried to regulate the current by adjusting the potentiometers on each uh, controller. You have to be very careful when you're doing that because uh, the potentiometers uh, is easily damaged. But anyway, these stepper motor drivers don't work for me. Uh, I need something that is uh, much stronger. That's why I have uh, bought TB6560 stepper motor controllers. These have a max current of uh, 3 amperes. My stepper motors are 2 max 2.8 amperes, so these controllers uh, should be more than enough. My mission on this episode is to connect the Arduino, the Arduino Uno to the TB6560 stepper motor controller. The first thing I figured out is that the CNC shield that sits on top of the Arduino Uno is no longer needed. So I take off the CNC shield and push it away. Then I have the Arduino Uno, the board, uh, and I'm going to use the different uh, outputs on this side to control the TB6560 stepper motor controller. Uh, when I've done that, I'm going to hook up my old NEMA 17 stepper motors to the TB6560 controllers. Just so I can test that everything works okay before I hook up to my CNC machine. These are the engines or the motors that I used the first time on my CNC. They were a bit too small. I found out that this maybe would have been big enough if I had used the TB6560 in the first place. I, I don't have the opportunity to test that out, but uh, I can uh, at least test to wire this TB6560 up to the Arduino Uno and driving all my four stepper motors, three axes, two stepper motors on the X axis. I have also bought uh, a new power supply. This is bought uh, out of banggood.com. I will leave a link in the description, of course. This is the 24 volt, which is the recommended uh, voltage for the TB6560s. Uh, and this has a current, max current of 15 amps. That is uh, more than enough. Uh, and that's good because I'm going to use the same power supply to power the, f the cooling fan in my electronics cabinet and to power everything else on the CNC machine, except the spindle, of course. So, with that said, I'm now going to try to explain the outputs we need on the Arduino Uno. Now, with the Arduino Uno out of the way, let's dive into the TB6560. 
I'm going to try to explain uh, how uh, all these switches function and uh, all the inputs and outputs we need to use. So let's dive into the 6560. Table that shows you the functions of all the switches. Let's take a closer look at the first table. Here you have the switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and the S1. This means the switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and S1. And these four switches is used to control the running current to the stepper motors. If you turn it a little bit around you can see here you start at 0 0.3 amperes uh, then switch 1 is in 0, switch 2 is in 0, switch 3 is in on position and the S1, uh, the first switch on the multiple switch is in 1 so if you go up you have 0 0.5, 0 0.8 1 amperes, 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.9, 2, 2.2 and 2.6 and on the top you have 3 amperes, that's the maximum for the TB6560. I'm going to at first run my engine in the 2.6 configuration because my NEMA 23 engines are rated at 2.8 amperes. So when I'm going to run the 2.6 configuration, the first switch should be in the on position, second switch should be in the on position, the third and the fourth should be in the off position. So if we look at the other settings, S2, that's the second switch, you have uh, something called stop current. This is how much current the stepper motors should get when they do not run or when they stay stand still. They need current to hold the position and uh, not uh, get out of whack and that's a good thing when you have a CNC machine uh, and you have zeroed everything in you don't want the steppers to move without the PC telling it to move. And then we come to the S3 and the S4 S3 and S4 it says excitation mode. Here you have uh, the micro steps uh, setting. The higher the micro steps you put, the lower holding torque the engines get, uh, or the low, lower starting torque. But also, the higher the micro stepping you set, the higher uh, resolution you get on uh, the CNC. I decided I have to go for 1 8 at first. Maybe I have to push it down to half a uh, micro step. Then we see we have to put the S3 in the uh, on position and the S4 in on position. On, on. The decay setting is that in fast mode you allow the current uh, when the engine stops to go directly to the power supply. This allows the magnetic field to collapse quickly and the motor will coast afterwards when it stops. Uh, the advantage will manifest in that you can have faster motor speeds. But in the slow decay setting you feed the current from the engine or the motor back to itself. This uh, means the magnetic field collapses slowly, the motor will dynamically brake or stop instantly. This is uh, desirable because uh, it will not then you will not lose uh, accuracy when seen seen but it will increase or limit the motor's speed there you have all the functions of these buttons
unplug it in the box, the mains. Okay. It didn't explode, but you can see the lights. All the stepper motors have a holding, holding power, I think. Except for this one. Connect this harder. Okay, let's go to the machine control. Stepper size 10 uh, millimeters. I'm really excited now. Uh, this should be the set axis. Oh, yeah. Let's take it a little bit further, 55 centimeters, 50 millimeters. That's good. Let's do the same for the Y axis. The speeds uh, you control in the Arduino program, I don't, I haven't done anything with them, those yet. And of course, the steps per uh, steps per revolution and uh, steps per millimeter. X axis. I'm uh, quite anxious about this. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, test all the axes together, so let me start up a uh, um, G-code program in the Universal G-code Center. This episode is long enough. If you would like to download my wire diagram for the TB6560 controls go to my web page the link to my web page is in the description and as always if you have any questions to me about any of my projects or future projects please leave a comment on this video or go to my Facebook page and leave me a private message also, on my Facebook page, I can send files as uh, G-code files, uh, graphic files and everything directly to you if you want something like that. So again, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you will continue to watch my series on the CNC and maybe go back and watch some of my other videos. And of course, I hope you push the like button on this video and maybe you would like to subscribe on my channel please do so or not it's up to you goodbye and thank you very much for watching have a nice day